Hello, long time no see. Uh, long time no see. This is Jans Mix, and I am doing level design commentary of Vanilla Level Design Contest 11 from Super Mario War Super Mario World Central. Uh, and just a little quick review from my personal life. As you can see, I got new microphone. Uh, However, I still don't have the external uh, external sound card or sound device or phantom source or how is it how is it called? So the sound is like still not definitely all right. Maybe maybe even worse than it was before. But it will it will get better. And also another reason why I was not recording for a long time is because I had uh, I had COVID and right now I am actually in isolation uh, and I feel I feel basically pretty much pretty much normal like uh, two months before I had a flu and it was like five times worse than this. This is just a, this is just a, a lit, little illness. Probably already weak Omicron variant, and I already got three doses of uh, vaccination. So, uh, so, uh, so yeah. So that's a review from my personal life. At least the one we, uh, which you need to know: uh, <coughs> the isolation and the new microphone. Why I'm still waiting for uh, external source. So yeah. And right now I am playing this industrial level I tried I tried it for and by the end I was raging a little bit because uh, I was running out of time and I didn't know what was I supposed to do. So now I am just reaching the area pretty quickly because I already know this part and fuck, I fucked this up. Maybe I should have used a safe state because there wasn't any Midway, po midway point. Yeah, I have to start from the from the beginning, beginning <laughs> one uh, once more. And yeah, yeah, probably I was actually rewatching the video, and what I was supposed to do was grabbing those uh, those blocks because this, th those are actually risking uh, throwable blocks. I didn't. Uh, I failed to re failed to re realize that. If I did, it would be probably quite easy. So yeah, yeah. Since this level is quite long, I uh, should probably make a save state from time to time. If I make anything anything stupid, like it is so far, it is not ridiculously hard, but. Uh, you know, you make just a tiny mistake and all the progress is gone. So yeah, but yeah, that uh, that feather was certainly quite a good gimmick. Oh damn. Okay, so I will make a safe state now. Probably, uh, probably I. They should definitely be some uh, keyboard shortcuts because this procedure of having to click on that is like uh, really lengthy and annoying, both for me and for you, apparently. But yeah, here we are in quite a critical area, so it is a good that uh, I made uh, that safe state recently. Yeah, I remember this part. Yeah, and this is the part when I d d died, and I died again. Uh, before I died because I uh, failed to realize I can go through that uh, pipe wall, whatever was that, and this time I died by accident. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, it it is it is uh, super tricky. 
I actually find a little bit weird that those uh, bridge parts are green because it almost looks like that they would fall when I uh, when I step uh, step on them. So yeah, nailed it. Nailed it this time. Okay. This part was also kind of critical. Yeah, like now, now we are getting into some really serious kind of fun. Serious kind of fun. Okay, there's a pipe here. Did I take this? Okay, I don't recall this area, but it might be because I didn't. Yeah, I didn't play this in a long time. No, that was probably some kind of bonus area, something like a coin room. Okay, yeah, like you see this area here is already pretty frustrating and, claust uh, and claustrophobic Like there are only like few areas where I can be and I have to be quite precise However at this point I still have 260 seconds to go Oh yeah, there is this part also, damn it I thought I can just jump through those blocks. Anyway, yeah, I think we made quite a long way, so I will save it for now. Okay, let's kill those parkies. Oh yes, I remember. I remember this part. I mean, although yeah, although this level design is frustrating, this using quite a nice gimmicks. Yeah, like having to wait here, maybe it is quite annoying, but definitely a good idea, which I don't see often. Oh yeah, and here we already know I am supposed to do this. Like it, it was that simple, and I didn't know what uh, what was I supposed to do. Still, I don't think it was uh, like a good idea to uh, risk in those uh, throwable blocks, especially when uh, they have the same color as uh, as its surroundings. Like those blue pipes, etc., which aren't throwable, they are just solid. So, uh, so I naturally thought that uh, those blocks would be solid as well. Yeah, I think they just wouldn't be risking, it would be better, but whatever. <laughs> Especially when they actually were uh, a normal throwable block before. But wow, this this level is already quite uh, quite long. I mean, even if even if I knew what to do, uh, like in the playthrough before, I I probably couldn't make it. And I will be I have uh, a little bit more than 100 seconds to go, so I'm getting a bit uh, a bit nervous. Right now, I am. Pretty much, Jesus, what is this? Yeah, I'm pretty much certain that this level doesn't have a midway point. I mean, running out of time and being uh, just in the midway, that's not cool. And, yeah, like, that, that would be quite bad if the level didn't actually have a midway point, or maybe I just missed that, that's also a possibility. That was some hidden area, so which I quite rushed through, so maybe it was there. Okay, is there a, is there a boss, boss fight? Oh Jesus. It, it's not over yet? Are you crazy? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it pretty much does a good job as, as a challenging level. Okay, and a true boss fight? Oh, I got 19 seconds to finish off this guy. Okay, so can I make it? Can I make it, actually? Die, die, die. No, I can't make it. I can't make it. 
literally like if I had uh, no, I would need ten seconds because there is also a cut cutscene. However, yeah, I was already at the end, so I I will be playing this one again. And instead, let's go to the next world. I mean, this industrial world quite frustrates me for some reason. So next one is next one is fire world. And beside this one, there is one more to go. Wow, wow, sugarless game. <laughs> okay, I like the crazy music. There is a lot of those schools floating here. Yeah, like, I mean, lava levels always frustrated me. So, yeah, this starts off like quite a regular game, I guess. Damn it, I seem stupid. Okay, so pro, uh, so far just a simple vanilla reskin. It also had a relatively low rating. Yeah, typical cave enemy. Pretty much, uh, so far pretty much looks like a typical cave level with uh, just with some adjustments. Wow. Okay, like th this guy certainly likes to play with uh, shells and those thingies, which is a which is a good. This is a good semi gimmick. Okay, P switch. Yeah, I think what I am supposed to do with that is uh, is this. Yeah, like I am relatively experienced Super Mario World player, so. I could figure out uh, what uh, I was supposed to do, however, like, if not, if someone would uh, try to uh, try to press the switch right, uh, right away, which is the thing like the, I would say, average uh, players do, then uh, they would be stuck. And I didn't actually see any reset door or something like that. So yeah, there is a potentially bad level design, like, uh, apart from your instinct, instinct, there was no hint that you should uh, go to the left. So yeah, there is quite an improvement point, but so far it is quite a not good, but also not terrible cave level. Okay, yeah, so, yeah, that was nice, as I say, not, not good, not terrible, uh, quite a likeable uh, visuals, I mean, the palette, and I also like the tiles from the ghost house being present here. The thing with, with the piece, which was a nice puzzle, I would say, I believe it should be used uh, rather as a bonus. However, uh, here we are at the, at the hot level. So yeah, I can see a uh, uh, bullet changing background, oh yeah, and of course a swarm of munchers. <laughs> and they also use the gimmick of those uh, floating skulls. The music I believe is from Donkey Kong. Oh shit, I got hit. Mm. Supers uh, just laying on nothing. Yeah. Okay, this is quite challenging. Ooh, that was close. That was close, but I made it. Okay, and this is a midway. So yeah, a challenge, but relatively short. I'm quite fine with that. However, those uh, swoopers and also we saw those, uh, uh, geez, how they are called, those uh, spike red turtles, I forgot, but they were just, uh, they were just climbing there at nothing. I mean, it is a detail, not a functional thing, but I would still say it shouldn't be happening. Okay, it, but it is getting pretty frustrating. 
Yeah, you need to be super precise here. Uh, those skulls, what does it mean? While these cool blocks don't harm you, they will destroy entire school rafts as soon as they touch a school block. Oh, yeah, I think I understand. I mean, I already passed a midway point. I mean, if I if I won't be by the end like pretty soon, then uh, like the midways are pretty unbalanced. <laughs> With the first half, quote uh, quote half being much uh, longer than the second one. Okay, so from quite an interesting level design, uh, the creator went to quite a ridiculous need for precision. <laughs> oh yeah, it's the end. Okay, like b <laughs> by some miracle I made it. Like there, there were moments where I al also almost like believed that I'm uh, I'm gone. But yeah, and it is. Uh, 25th place yeah I mean I will definitely uh, place it lower because like it was probably it was probably too frustrating but hey yeah as I said uh, uh, the judges in this hack tend to place the more frustrating level better and what the <laughs> yes. okay so now now we're talking now we are talking <laughs> And this is 64th place. Let me... How do I move my screen? Yeah, like this. Maybe I should use the... No. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, maybe I'm stupid, but I really don't know. Huh. Oh yeah. This. Huh. <laughs> Uh, I don't feel like I want to play this one. <laughs> okay, let's try the next one then. Otherworldly Monument. Okay. So, kinda nightmarish, otherworldly settings. Can I walk on the couch? Yes, I can. Okay, green water. Yeah, the level has quite the uh, good, good vibes. Although, I think the such a drastic recolor of the clouds wasn't uh, necessary because they feel like they will do something, like fall when I when I step on them. Okay, and what is what is this? Is it gonna hurt me? Probably. Yeah, that was a nice idea. But, uh, but yeah, uh, when I was walk uh, talking about those uh, clouds, I wouldn't probably do such a drastic recolor because it feels like uh, they will do something else, but they just act like a regular blocks. And by the way, I really like this eye. You see that? Okay. Hmm. Munchers. O overuse of... Uh, of enemy, like in my opinion, if they would just use the bows, then the level would have a much better identity. Okay. Oh, hello, big bow. Uh, no, no, I'm not risking it. Oh, the music from Earthbound. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool change of the background. Yeah, the music from uh, Earthbound is really fitting here. Oh, I and I got. I got blue fireballs, nice. Okay, and we also had a change of enemies. Probably they, there won't be any bows in this area. I mean, yeah, it is nice. They are using a lot, a lot of enemy. Uh, this for me is kinda an important topic. Like, it is an... Uh, 
it is some crazy otherworldly area and wow I'm I'm just in a midway point so if this is like a ghostly otherworldly ar area or whatever then what are Chargitak doing here? What are Koopa Troopas doing here? What are Munchers doing here? <laughs> like Munchers... Munchers should be like only in some rare areas in the underground in my opinion. <clears throat> okay. And the uh, water which uh, doesn't use physical... Uh, physical loss and I died. Yeah because I didn't expect the falling flat from there. Let's move to the other to the other one. Although this level had a nice settings like the level design is not so good. Okay this looks like a lovely volcanic area. How did they do those glowing lava streams glow? They look really really awesome. Okay. Okay uh what what is wrong no well it is not that wrong but i was hesitating if i could uh, walk on those like i know the glowing uh, the glowing uh edges are supposed supposed to tell me but why actually they couldn't use a darker color for uh, those uh for, the, for those blank mountains which are supposedly in the background it will be so much better. Anyway, yeah. Like probably uh, more than half of the levels in this area use those floating skulls. Ha ha ha. So you are called the world called Mario. Uh, the only way you escape is by burning. Or my name isn't Surtur King of Muspel. Okay, did the guy made this up? Oh Jesus! Yeah, risking lucky too, but <laughs> this is really annoying. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay, I will try next one once away. I won't be playing the Switch Palace. At least not just yet. The ground is gold. Something like the floor is lava. Uh, slide by pressing down to kill enemies. You don't say. Uh, keep sliding and just press jump with enough speed to go really far. Am I really gonna need this? Uh, maybe. But yeah, like those uh, those gold parts, uh, dots, look really nice. They are actually glowing. Nice work with the palette animation. Yeah, and also the tiles from the ghost house. Yeah, quite nice work with the graphics, but hell. Uh, I see Munchers again. I probably missed the secret area. Bad luck. It's a pity. Okay. Okay, I like how they probably are using those uh, areas as a secret, but not as a necessity. Yeah, luckily this level... Uh, looks to be quite forgiving <laughs> Un unlike the other levels in the fire world oh and I'm not dead okay a midway point and here we see golden br bricks the statue is the key to the pla uh, gold palace Bring it down to its en entrance. Uh, think quickly to clear the trials down there. Wait, what? Wh which statue are you talking about? Oh, this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we've got a little puzzle here. Those are probably the reset doors, and yeah. Now I need to find a P-switch, yeah, which is here. <laughs> Don't press it just yet. I mean, yeah, this is so far quite easy, but I like it, like, I don't really like levels which are overly frustrating. Although, yeah. 
Okay, and what am I supposed to... Oh! Really clever. I... I, for I forgot uh, I forgot how high is the actual rating of this level however I am hoping I hope it will be pretty good because I really like the gimmicks so far however what I'm supposed to do now apparently I missed something. It stopped. It stopped throwing fire? What the hell just happened? Is there a hidden block? No. So I probably missed something. So I need to use the reset door. Okay. Uh, do I need to... Yeah, I need to begin this part from the beginning. Thanks. Okay, missed. Hmm. Yeah, probably there was that block, and I'm guessing there was a piece which inside which I need to press later. Hmm. Yeah, I need to quickly get there probably. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly how it was. Jeez, quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay, huh. <laughs> okay, I probably missed something again. <laughs> okay. B switch. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Nice. I I got it. I, I almost thought I would give up. Ooh. And a golden golden area. Treasure. Huh. <laughs> treasure. Pleasure treasure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean. I mean, th th this kind of reward by the end of a level is good. I mean, the flat, flat end visuals like the golden uh, parts, like the bricks and the dots were nice, so good job. Yeah, 25th place, yeah, I would say this is a pretty, pretty well deserved. <coughs> Underworld Chapel, uh, 75th place, yeah, I will try this one. Okay, so some kind of frustrating house. So yeah, they are both Koopa Troopas and Irius. Uh, like I am not a fan of like mixing those kind of enemies in the same level. But whatever, we will see what else will will be there. Sometimes it like really gives a good feeling of uh, of a creepy chapel underground is this gonna hurt me uh, I will better not try okay I'll try not not to be touching them like so far it really looks like it's gonna that, that, like those are some hot uh, blocks piece of land which will hurt me if I touch them so Damn it. <laughs> okay, I found a feather and lost a feather. Wow, cool cool use of level pr uh, of layer priority. Yeah, those those both are really annoying in such a uh, in uh, such a claustrophobic area. Okay, and here we already are with also a spamming of uh, areas. 
Oh yeah, and now I need to find a B switch apparently. Oh Jesus. I need to kill this Koopa Troopa. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, a frustrating usage of Koopa Troopas. Okay. This is also a nice idea. Uh huh. Mm. I could do that Koopa Troopa for whatever was inside the block. Okay. Also, a good usage of bow blocks. Like needing th needing them if in order to uh, pass uh, pass uh, lava ponds. I don't see that often. Yeah, it's like now I'm now I'm almost certain that those this glowing gland is hurting me. Okay, it is getting pretty frustrating, and I just lost my feather. Quickly. Oh no, another hole in the ground. Yeah, there is a lot of things here. But I don't think it's unfair. Oh, a big bowl. Yeah, I made it. Whew, I made it. What comes next? Oh, I found a secret exit. Then where is the normal one? Is, is there also a normal one? Apparently... Hmm, maybe there is just a secret one, like, I mean, th there is also a case for some levels. Anyway... Dude, Jill, and we can see some uh, water in the overworld. Wow. <clears throat> can, can I swim inside that? And what is that lucky dude doing there? Wow. Okay, cool. Huh, yeah, I mean, uh, another fort of flying fishes. Okay, but those lucky tools down then are pretty well used. Actually, I didn't know they work like that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, uh, COVID. <coughs> Don't worry, you can get infected through the camera. Okay, this is somehow bugged. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Like, I'm almost certain that the author knows about it, that... Uh, you need to jump from this in order to get next. Yeah, that that kind of was like not that part was not cool, and it's a shame because the setting, like the premise, looks nice. Like it is using some uh, really cool, funny ideas. Okay, what's here? General General Trotil. <coughs> General Trotil. Wow. Bottom of level is safe and content reset pipes. In this level you need to decide if you want to use normal jump or spin jump. Oh yeah, reset pipes. Sounds like there will be a lot of puzzling. Wait, I'm confused. Oh yeah, B. Uh, B is normal jump, right? Spin jump is A. <coughs> what? what? What was I supposed to do? Hmm. Uh, where am I supposed to press it in order to jump further? 
Probably I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know what. Yeah, like this time I was holding the A. Oh! Yeah, so this is what I was supposed to do. Yeah, I think I get it now. <laughs> okay, so I'm just supposed to press the switch in the right time. Yeah, yeah, that is kind of what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I mean, yeah, a funny idea, funny idea, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I can imagine this level in a hack. Like, probably I'm not a fan of, uh, not a fan of. A uh, level design like this, but it could be well, uh, well used. Okay, my friends, my friends, I believe this was in, uh, enough for enough for day. Uh, like this video won't won't be hour long, but only for, only forty minutes. Also, because I'm not sure about the sound, how how it will sound, and uh, etc. And I actually want to end it right here. So thank you for watching, and next time uh, I will take a look into the abstract world. See ya.